to school. I, I, I've been in and out uh, since lunchtime anyway. So, wow, that's good. nice. Yeah, it's our last uh, holiday or whatever before school's over with. Great. It looks like Tammy. Yeah, also, I'm not, go ahead. What? I was going to tell you, I'm an advisor. I got signed up for, for an advisor for next year, too. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Tammy, are you with us? I am. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. How's your day going today? Um, it is going great. I taught a couple of classes and then saw a couple of practicum and uh, intern students were at the end and graduation's the fifth. So uh, we're having to tie everything up for our seniors. Cool. Wow. Sounds like you're a busy day. Busy day. Yeah. The end of the semester for a college professor is always, it's crazy. You get through earlier than in K-12, but um, you kind of work for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I but thank you, you all for uh, joining us this afternoon. I, is anybody else on the call? Not yet. Okay, so we're missing a few people. Um, did you get my materials this afternoon um, on the active listening and effective questioning? Yes. And um, thought we. I thought that had some very interesting things to say. We, not that we all, you know don't know a lot of this already, but um, I'll go over it. And, you know, it's just kind of a fun reminder on things. Um, oh, and, and Tammy, I did not hear back uh, from, your, from your learner. I did leave several messages, and um, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't know. I I'm sent a text a minute ago. I, um, I don't know if she's wanting to drop out and just doesn't want to tell us or... <laughs> Hopefully or nothing what? happened to her. You know, that's what I always worry about. Yes, yeah. I'm I'm pretty good at tracking down because that's part of my job is to track down interns and practicum students and, oh. you know, make sure that they turn things in on time and stuff. But, yeah, this one, I don't know. Every time I've communicated with her, she's made me feel like she still wants to be a part and she just needs more time. So I was trying to give her that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's strange. Well, we'll just keep trying. Um, yeah. Okay, it is, according to my clock, it's 5.02. I don't want to, I'm sure people will join us. Um, but let me go ahead and begin, and then people, oh, here's Tara. Tara has arrived. Wait, wait, wait. I got too much going on. I got the <laughs> computer and the phone going, so I can't, because I can't get the whatever. How are you all doing? <laughs> Hi, Tara. Hi. <laughs> I heard your dog. I heard your dog in the background. Oh, no, that's my look. I'm still at work and those are kids taking ballet. Oh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I, I allow the, the I, I allow them to uh, use our building for ballet. Oh. And so that's what you're at. Look. And it's funny that you say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please don't repeat that. <laughs> oh, no. I promise. No. Uh-uh. No. It's, it's been that kind of day. Oh, wow. And um, you all are doing well? Yes. Great. And great, great, great. Tammy's with us and Adam's with us and you are with us. And um, I'm not, I know that um, Deborah Baker's going to be a wee bit late. And then um, Camille, I have not heard about. Normally Laura's in at this time. So I thought um, I would just go ahead and um, start. So welcome everybody to this afternoon's advisor check-in call. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day for these uh, bi-weekly uh, sessions. I think they really are very encouraging to me because it shows that we're making a lot of progress. Um, this afternoon, I sent you um, our spotlight checklist, advisor spotlight, which this week is on active listening and effective questioning. Um, did you, you got all got that, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I am going to, here, here is our agenda. 
You can all see my screen. Uh, so we'll spend just a little bit of time talking about that and sharing with each other what your thoughts are on that document. Um, let me kind of go, let me actually go to the document itself. And I'm just going to briefly recap it, um, some of the points, and then I'm going to turn it over to you to kind of discuss what your thoughts were in terms of your reflecting, um, especially since you probably know most of these things, but there, it's a nice refresher to go through it again and maybe, maybe pick up some good points, you know, especially in working with um, your cohort members. First of all, when we're talking about um, communicating, active listening, um, be sure to listen with your whole body. Now, this is rather hard since this is an online course, <laughs> but, um, you know, you can't use the face to face, but you can still use um, active, you know, voice, inflection, things like that, sounding interested. Um, let the other person do the talking. Be quiet and actively encourage the other person to talk. I always have a problem with that. I always want to jump in. Um, avoid interrupting. Avoid prejudging what's being said. Um, and don't finish sentences. Um, Nonverbal communication, again, since this is online, um, it is mostly going to be verbal <laughs> unless you're visiting with them. And, and a lot of you have done that, so that's rather nice. Um, be comfortable with silence, listen inquisitively and strategically, use questions effectively. Um, and then, you know, there's a section on shallow listening, cursory, cursory listening. Um, what I kind of enjoyed uh, in terms of questioning uh, were some of these guiding you know, when you're asking questions, some, some structure around the questions that you ask in terms of asking open questions, probing questions, hypothetical, reflective, leading, deflective. So the other thing that I thought was fascinating about this article was this chart. What did you think about that? Um, the different degrees of active listening in terms of just repeating what you've heard, but then paraphrasing is the next step up. And then the third step up where you really, they really know that you've not only listened, but there you've reflected on what you've heard is uh, reflecting, the reflecting category. So um, let me turn it over to you for a moment and tell me what your thoughts are when, as you reviewed this. How have, how have you used these things with your own uh, cohort members and which, you know, how has it worked? Hi, Camille. I'm just reading over this right now. Is this Camille? This yes, is Camille. No, no. Hi, Camille. Welcome. Thank you. Any of the rest of you as you review this, what your thoughts are on it? I guess it made me think about just when I was really struggling with my, uh, especially one of my um, participants that was trying to do the cohort project, I mean the uh, capstone project, and she was really struggling articulating what she was trying to to um, to do. And so, because I don't know that she had clarified it in her own mind. So I used a lot of, okay, I'm hearing you say that you want to change this. Mm -hmm. How would you go about doing that? You know, I'm hearing that you say, because I was struggling to try to understand where she was going with it. So I was doing that as much for my sake as hers. So, cause I couldn't help her until I tried to get to her understanding or her mind of what she wanted. Good point. That is a very good point. Yep. Were you able to help her? Was she able to feel like you heard her? Oh, yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I don't know that I did that much, but just kind of helped her clarify it in her own mind. Mm -hmm. So just sometimes saying it back to them, what they're saying, kind of helps them see it better. I don't know. How, uh, how what, what do other people, what have, what's been your experience with this? I think questions questions effectively on the discussion board. That's been my downfall. Questioning. Yeah, questioning questioning effectively. Uh huh. 
I think that's pretty much what I've been just asking questions because, for one, I just had to keep reading and keep it because I didn't understand it. <laughs> and so pretty much the same thing, questioning effectively and asking if, if this, you know, um, is this what you really meant? Good point. So it's almost um, like you have to know the lesson ahead of time. Um, and kind of go through it yourself so that you can then ask those questions, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What about everybody else? I think probably my biggest problem is trying to hold back and not um, give them an answer <laughs> or create an answer, but, but let them stay in, in an area of disequilibrium where they're trying to it out for themselves to answer and just learning like the others were talking about how many questions and what questions to ask without providing them with an answer that is satisfactory to them and to me because that's really not what the goal was mm, good point yeah and sometimes that takes some time too for their reflection right yes mm -hmm. i agree now, are you doing this um, via phone or are you doing this via email? I've done via email mm -hmm. with uh, with doing the little blurbs on the side where you know where there you can add questions yeah. or make comments mm -hmm. and have them respond back. Yeah, it makes. I started out with emails. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. I started out with emails, but. It was so frustrating because there's so much time gap in between when I send the email and when they respond. I finally just got frustrated and picked up the phone and called them, and we were able to to um, walk through it a lot more quickly uh, once we could have that on, that quick ongoing dialogue about what they were, you know, what they had in their mind that they were trying to achieve. Um, yeah. So, I mean, and, and sometimes it was just, what do you want the end state to be? And that seemed to be kind of help guide what the beginning state needed to be. Uh huh. That's that's the you know, and, and that's a really good method too. Um, what about the rest of you? What what's your means of communication like that? What's my email? Email. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you find that this uh, system of online uh, makes it even more challenging in these areas in terms of listening and questioning? Oh yeah, no doubt because you can't you can't see if they're frustrated. You can't you, you don't have those emotions that you can read into it. Right. How do you work around that? Well, I call them. Because <laughs> I need to hear their voice. <laughs> it, I think out of sight, out of mind, and that's what we find with online classes as well, is that unless there is a set time of getting together, whether that's weekly or every two weeks or whatever, everybody just gets You're fading out. Um. Okay. Well, I think we've spent enough time on this. Are there any other, uh, you know, as you reflect on this, any other um, things that kind of jumped out at you that uh, for the good of the group that you thought was interesting? No. Okay. Well, I won't spend too much time on it, but if you think of things, you've all made some really good points and appreciate that. Um, you can, you know, maybe use some of these um, skills um, to uh, in, improve your active listening area and your questioning. So um, why don't we go back to the agenda? Um, and Let's, uh, if we could have you report out on, uh, let's see, let me, yeah. 
let's do a quick run through on where we're at. We uh, lesson five was due today. Yay! I'm hopeful that you know your uh, all of your cohort members are at lesson five. But let's uh, go around the room or the, vi the virtual room and see where we're at in terms of you know how are your cohort members doing in terms of completion of lessons one through five. Anyone would like to start us out? This is Laura. Right. Um, <laughs> um, who is that? And this is Tara. We're moving along. Who's that, Tara? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have um, two that have two more lessons, and they will be finished with all of the lessons. I think that's right. The last I checked. Great. Uh, Tammy, how are you doing? How's your group? Um, in um, four, I have two that are finished, and I have one that promised she uploaded, Jan, but I still haven't seen it, and I've emailed her saying I don't see it in there. Um, and then the fourth one is the one that's kind of lost in action on everything that we can't get to respond to text or anything. Okay. And then in lesson five, um, Bonnie Sullivan is done with five and with everything. She, she's our one that had a baby and got her PhD done. So she's done with everything. And I had a phone call last night with Jason Haddon. He was uploading last night, but I noticed nothing is in there. So I, I get a lot I'll of follow that. up and, and check both of those out. Okay. Just, yeah. just to um, see. What I, yeah. Okay. And I had one of those too that um, she had uploaded. But I couldn't read anything. I mean, I could. It says page not found. And mm -hmm. who is that? Um, Deandra. Oh, okay. this is Tara. I'm sorry, but um, one of my one of my members, she said the same thing. She uploaded and and it said page not found when I okay. clicked. Okay, let me. I'll check on that one too. Um, anybody else? This is Laura. I'm sorry, I was late. Um, I have two that have completed the lesson five um and two that have had multiple issues going on one who had the tornado in her community and then jay whose wife has been sick um those two um are late again and then i have one more that was late too so okay. hopefully they'll get it in this week awesome and adam I've got um, everybody finished up to four, except one of them did not do the budget. I think she needs to, she needs to send that. And then uh, uh, three of the four have completed uh, lesson five. Okay. That's great. That's good. And Camille, how is your group? Okay, I have one that is completely finished with all the lessons, and she uploaded it, and um, when you finish everything, it goes to a finish category somewhere. It does. And so then my other person can't respond. Oh, um, good point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's interesting. But anyway, um, the other one is, um, I, don't, I don't think she had uploaded five when I checked yesterday, but, um, but she's, she's on track. Good. That's good. Yeah. Now, is Deborah Baker with us yet? No. Okay. Well, we'll just keep going. Well, it sounds like things are really progressing well. And when you think about it, there's only one more lesson. There's only, you know, the the sixth lesson um, is the final one due May 14th. So we're almost at the end. <laughs> Yay! Have a celebration. Um, so is there any... Um, technology issues that you've come across that I need to follow up with learners? Nothing? Okay. Well, good. I'm glad so far. If there are any, you know where my phone is, you know, you can definitely email me or call me and I'll be happy to follow up with them. I will check on um, <coughs> love these people and then get back to you, okay? Um, what about uh, the capstone project progress. Um, are your learners, do you feel like they're on, on target? Yes, no, don't know. Okay, you might want to do a check with them if you haven't. 
um, because again, the deadline, just remind them that the, the final project is due to be uploaded on June 4th. And um, we're in the last week in April, so um, they don't have too much more time. So if there are any questions or issues, they need to contact you now. Um, so, and then, you know, I, what I would do is check for understanding that they know um, what the writing assignment is and what that PowerPoint slide is for their final presentation. Both of those are due to court. And just if I, I would remind them again that the final meeting is on June 19th. Um, it doesn't hurt to remind them again. So that way we don't have anybody not attending that meeting. Because um, I think it'll be really fun. That final meeting is going to be a celebration sort of thing, a year-long celebration. So um, we want them to definitely attend. Um, any thoughts on... Um, on anything that, that your learners are going through that we need to address or should address? If mine tell me they've uploaded their capstone project, I want to make sure I'm looking in the right spot because there again, I don't see things when they tell me they've uploaded it. Yeah. Should it be under assignments under capstone? It should be under assignments. Yes. Yes. And All if I you do not see it, it just send me a quick email and I'll check. I'll go in as them to see if it's there. Okay. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you meant for the capstone to be a working document, um, but they can't, I guess we've talked about this before, but they can't like change the document as they go along. Um, it's a written paper, Camille. It's not uh, that template. It's actually, the, remember the webinar that Gail went through? It's, um, uh -huh. A written with the slides. Yeah, so um, it's not that template that they initially submitted. And she listed a whole bunch of okay. questions. Um, you might want to go back and reflect on that. I sent the recording. I need to go back and check on that. Yeah, go back and listen to that recording, the webinar uh, recording mm -hmm. that I sent out on that. And then you know, if you have to. Um, I'll be happy to set up a webinar with your, your people and you if you want to talk through that. Okay. Okay. Um, who else um, Who else has thoughts? No? Okay, our last lesson, lesson six, is due on May 14th. And um, again, I just want to congratulate you all for all the hard work you've put into this last six months for co Course 201. Um, overall, it sounds like we've had pretty good progress. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised um, that there haven't been more issues and problems. But of course, I say that by knocking on wood. You know, it's always when you say that that things happen. <laughs> um, but please know that I'm here to support you. Um, and Gail is too. If you need anything from us, please feel free to call us or email us. Um, we will be happy to. Um, encourage you or encourage, you know, be, be your support with your learners. Um, I've done a few of those calls and emails, but I'll be happy to do more if, if needed. So um, do, do write us or email us or call us at any time. Um, I want to make a plug. This is my little advertisement for our upcoming July 9th through 11th um, Orlando conference in the summer. It's going to be a great professional learning experience, and we want to invite you and your cohort members to come and visit with us so that we can celebrate. Um, that will be in July, so their graduation is, what, in June, and we'd just love to see you all. Um, let me, um, I wanted to quickly get out of here and show you where on the website you can um, see all the different speakers and the, and the program. You can see my screen, right? Um, if you go to www.naespconference.org, you will get to the conference webpage, and you can see our um, our tentative schedule. Our pre-conference workshops are are here. Um, we've got some great speakers. Um, love to have you guys participate. Um, but also, we will have the the schedule for the conference outlined here, so you can kind of see who the main conference speakers are. Um, and we're working right now on the itinerary planner. And we'll have that up soon. So you can see 
um, some of the concurrent sessions as well. Um, so please feel free to peruse that. Um, come to Orlando with us. We'll celebrate. We'll have a good time. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of a chance to, to mingle with each other. Okay. So um, feel free to do that. Come play in Orlando with us. <laughs> uh, any questions? Well, you've done a great job. Thank you again for everything that you do for our learners um, and for the Pre-K-3 Academy. Um, we just so appreciate all your hard work. And um, let me know if I can help you. And our next call will be in two weeks. Um, so put your calendar down for May 7th. Hey, I know one thing. Yeah. I mentioned at the start of this, uh, you know, they've got the second cohort that they're forming in the state. Uh, is, uh, are y'all going to be also also a part of that? Yes, we are. Yes. Uh, well, we we don't know who the cohort members are going to be or the advisors. We haven't gotten that information yet from from class. But um, yeah, we're we're working on it. <laughs> I think you're going to get that information today. It was due today, I believe, because I was the one that hadn't turned in my one of my. Uh, forms that I was accepting so oh, okay yep that gave you a call didn't it yeah and that that's did. Kind of <laughs> you know so anyway um thank you all so much you guys have a great evening and uh I'll talk to you on May 9th all right thank, thank you. you thank you bye, bye.